1051. Yep. Power 1051. Another Kid Ink joint there. Kid Ink is in the building today. Ooh, I'm here. He is here live in I'm the building chilling. today. We are live on the air. We are live on Mobley. If you haven't gotten the Mobley app, you can do that now. We, uh, live. we are here live. And you are here in this nice weather. Welcome to New it's York. It's amazingly cold. <laughs> yeah, this is not good for a guy like you. Nah, man. I'm from... Uh... Los Angeles, where it's actually been raining too much lately. Please don't be like the L.A. guy that complains about it being 70. Hmm. Nah, I, hate, <laughs> I hate rain. I complain about rain more than I complain about snow. But the 70 is like hot. I don't like being hot, though. And every I like time, in the middle. Every yeah. time somebody from L.A. is here in the middle of these weather things that we're having, they always dress like Kid Ink with a little light, little leather jacket on. Oh, like, yeah. this is Like uh, it's sweet. This is nice, uh, thin. You know, I might have a nice, <laughs> thin cut. I had a cut off on when I landed. I was tripping. But, Wildin. You know, that's, cool. that's what happens. You know. Welcome to We're moving well, fast. Welcome to these yeah. fre- freezing streets. Yeah. So crazy. what's happening with you? Albums tomorrow, right? Album is tomorrow, uh, twelve midnight tonight, uh, West Coast time, eight o'clock or something like that. And uh, you know, it's dropping, and I'm excited. It's my second major label album. Uh, I'm ready to see, you know, how the fans really respond to it. I mean, I've had the fans who who went and got that early internet copy. Yeah, of course. Responding well though, they're still loving it. The pre-orders actually went up. Since that, so you know, it's not a, a total loss. More than, I'm really excited to really see, you know, what these fans gravitate towards and talk about on like the comments and the iTunes and all that. What they like, see so what you the know charts, the next singles are exactly, and I all I that. See the charts and see what really like strives over, because you know, me and the the label and managers, everybody has their bets. And, you know, we always talk about this one gonna do this, this we gonna see, and we really want to see, you know, yeah. the fans. It's happens. the death. Uh, uh, the day I keep saying death. The <laughs> Dej Loaf um, one is um, a single. The Dej Loaf one is. My favorite record, <laughs> and it is a it's a single. You know what I'm saying? Right yeah. now, I feel like that's one of the ones that's just striving on its own. It's not that I'm, you know, what I'm saying out there making people want it as a single more. So people are coming up to me like, "This is your next single, right?" I mean, they're like, "You, we know we got the Hotel Chris record. That's an obvious single, but this is your, you know, what I'm saying this is the one. Let's go, let's ride out." Right. So I think it's good you know, for her too because she's in a moment now where she could use another look. Right yeah. now is a perfect time for her to have another look. I agree. And, you know, that's, you know, kind of was the goal when I reached out. Wait a minute. When did you make that song? Um, was it before Try ago? Me? No. Nah, it wasn't before. It was right because what happened was she made the Try Me record. I was overseas. So oh. I was just hearing all the hype. I landed back and we did some shows and she ran up in the dressing room like, what's going on? Show some love. Were you dressed? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, everybody was there. <laughs> <laughs> she ran over to the dressing room and showed some love or whatever. And Did um, she have a white fur on? She didn't. This oh, was before the white fur. Disappointing. This is before the white fur. Okay. All right. This is she was she had a you know, little letterman or something. She, you Did know, she have she a she loafer? Did she, she have like fresh. a loafer on or something? I don't remember. Okay, all right. Anyway, carry on. It was early. It she, was, ran she, was, she, was room. she was dressing room. She ran up in the she dressing room. Came to dressing room, showed a lot of love and everything, and then since then her team, you know, I've seen like a lot of her rep- representatives at other shows and they're always like, You guys should get in, you guys should work and then I finally got this perfect record where, you know, I had this hook where I was like, man, she could kill this record. And it's not like I was chasing her because she's hot. It was really this record sounded like her the voice. perfect record for it. And, you know, it turned out. You want to play it? Yeah, why not? You know what I'm saying? All it's right. your boy Kidding right here in the building. If y'all don't know, man, this, this is my new record, Be Real, featuring Dej Loaf. Is it clean? Is this the clean version? Must. Please. I hope okay. it's clean. I hope so, too. <laughs> it's about 105.1. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? Power 1051, Kid Ink's in the building. Album in stores tomorrow. Yeah. Or tonight at midnight. Tonight at midnight. In stores, though, tomorrow. We'll be on iTunes tonight. Did you watch the Super Bowl yesterday? I did. It was amazing. Why is it amazing? Because the Seahawks lost. I'm watching the replay. So you're a Seahawks hater? Yeah, I'm not a a Pats fan, but I'm a Seahawks hater. Why? I'm a 49ers fan, diehard, since my mom had me. And uh, I think, you know, that's the rival right now. Like, Seahawks and, and 49ers don't really. You know, I walked through the airport. So you were angry yesterday. <laughs> you were upset. I was I was excited that the Pats won, though. Then the Seahawks went home, and I got to call a lot of people. <laughs> got to call a lot of people and tell That's them. I should have talked to Macklemore, too. That's being a hater. I forgot to hit Macklemore yesterday. Dang. I should have told him. <laughs> he usually the one showing out from being there. Nah, but uh, how about know, Missy at halftime? I thought that was Missy good. Missy was dope. I thought she kind of killed that. Right. I actually don't know what she performed because I watched it muted. Um, Why? Where were you? I was at some bar club thing going on. Oh, and, oh. You know, they were playing the music during the commercial. So every time a commercial went, they played the music. But then oh. at halftime, they she still played the music. Nah, she killed it. Show. Yeah. I almost it looked wish, dope, though. I almost wish she would have dropped the single like the week before. 
So it could have been a whole mo- you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, it could have been a she movie. killed it that much that people were talking yeah, about it. But Katy Perry's stage look. was crazy. Yeah, the stage that was, was nice. Like another world. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. You getting ready to go on tour, right? I know this yeah. um, um, Scream tour. Scream Nation. That's the new introduction. For oh, Scream, ho, ho. So Scream Nation. 2015 edition. 2015. They, they what happens at the it. Scream Nation? We're trying to turn it up. Make it a little less uh, R&B. I think, I think <laughs> last, last time Scream did a tour, it was a lot. You know more. Wait, it's you. It's Bob. Who was on? Who else is with you? Uh, Dej Loaf, Ray right. Schwimmer right now. We're adding some. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to figure out if we want to add anybody else to do some more stuff. But right now, that's the setup. Ray Schwimmer's the homies. They, I already know they're gonna turn it up. I've been to a couple shows with them lately, and they just they go ham. It's I haven't seen them yet, but I've been hearing that too. And it's gonna be wild. I'm gonna have to keep up that energy for sure. But I, you know, I'm expecting this. Hopefully, uh. You know, see what Dej Loaf is on and maybe give some tips and really show you. We actually have guys. um we have tickets, I believe. Yeah. We're gonna get to that in a little bit and then um and we'll put you in that building. It's in Brooklyn. You're gonna be in yeah, Brooklyn. It's perfect. perfect. Let's get it. Perfect for that. First time and then performing of, in Brooklyn. And then of course album is in stores tomorrow. Um uh, what are we doing? Body language right now. You wanna hit us up? 800 585 1051 Kid Inc. is here. Say hello, maybe some shoot some questions hey, at yo. him. Yeah. We're here. Spot one five one. Let's go. Fish.